With pro-democracy supporters claiming Hong Kong's very survival is at stake over China's new security law, the Prime Minister today announced Canada's response. Effective immediately, Canada will not permit the export of sensitive military items to Hong Kong. We are also suspending the Canada-Hong Kong extradition treaty and updating our travel advisory for Hong Kong. Critics claim the one country, two systems agreement that preserved Hong Kong's autonomy is effectively dead, since China can now extend its law into the territory. This young man, who we've agreed not to identify, fled here after last summer's protests and is trying to get asylum. I see Hong Kong people, uh, including my friends, they're under uh, fear. They couldn't bear and couldn't imagine before. I'm facing uh, more than five or six years sentence by doing nothing. Suspending extradition now effectively saves him from being turned over to Beijing, says Vancouver immigration lawyer Richard Curland. China can use a, uh, the Hong Kong extradition process to indirectly get at someone who's in Canada who allegedly violates Hong Kong rules, but the Hong Kong rules are set by Beijing. Other Western nations, though, have gone further by making it easier for those who face political persecution to flee. And this new Democrat MP says Canada must do the same. At least 400 people have been arrested uh, in Hong Kong with the passage of this law. And so to that end, uh, I think that we need to bring in special measures through our immigration stream. Canada's relationship with China was already frozen over the extradition of Huawei executive and China's capture of the two Michaels in response. And critics here are saying there's now very little to lose by being even more assertive. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.